What's up guys and welcome to some scrap mechanics Scrap mechanics I'm gonna show you a couple of my models I managed to build an airplane that actually works quite good too We'll see All right, let's skip the airplanes for now. Take a look at the vehicles first things first here's my Drifting, drifting truck. Something is off. All right. Oh no! Shit! Wait! Whoa! What? What? Hello! <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Stop! Stop doing the Michael Jackson thing. So it's a drifting truck. It's kind of high, I know, but I have these supporting wheels on the side just to prevent it from flipping over to the side. It's gonna do it anyway, but you know. And we have some wheelie bars. If you have seen drag racing before, you know what this stuff does. And I actually have electric engines instead of gasoline engines because fuck you, that's why. As you can see, it d does that thing as soon as I press the throttle. So that's why I have those wheelie bars back. So I won't flip over. Which works. Alright, so let's, let's drive a bit. And actually I have some thrusters in the front just to push it down. To get some better grip. It works quite good. Uh, not really though. It drifts a bit too much, so the power is maybe a bit too much. It's not meant to be uh, meant to be good. It's just meant to be funny. So let's take a look at the airplanes. And by the way, this is my failed attempt to rail, uh, like one of these monorails. But I didn't want it to hang in the air, I wanted to drive. I got a text. Drive instead. Uh, what I actually did here is a four-way uh, turn. So if I hop into my vehicle here. First off, this... If I drive this forward a tiny bit. I have this bar I can lower. Which triggers the sensor to the left. Which... See? Completes the ramp. So we can drive forward. Oh. Yeah. As you can see, it doesn't work quite well yet. There we go. And we have some switches here, so we can switch 90 degrees. 180, perhaps. Come on. Yeah. As you can see, it is a work in progress. So we can actually have... It's a, it's a four-way switch, basically. But I'm not working on that at the moment because it's... It is what it is. Alright, next fucked up vehicle is uh, this one. I don't even know what to call this. I put some <laughs> flower pots instead of wheels. I mean, it, it feels a bit more sturdy. I don't know. We have some boosters here as well we can travel. To actually, I have them angled as well, so it pushes us down. Here we work, work quite nice. It's also a fun vehicle. And if I for some reason manage to flip over, can I? It's very jumpy, this vehicle. But if I land on the top, I can always press one. And go like that instead. See? we. It's actually quite nice. It doesn't flip that easy. It doesn't turn as good, too, but... I mean, it's fun. It works. Alright, um... Let's see. I think this was my first plane model. And I don't think this one flies as good as I wanted to. I don't know. Let's, uh... Check it out. 
Hop. I mean, it flies. Uh, but, yeah. It's quite hard to control. So what I did with this one was that I mapped uh, the whole wing is on a bearing. Let me take up the this one. Oh, the mods are gone. I had a bunch of mods, but they are not here anymore because I updated it. Oh, screw it. See, um, the bearings on the wings are connected to the driver's seat instead of a button. Which that lets me do. Uh, if I press A and D, it turns the wings. Uh, but I can't turn the front wheels, so I mapped those to my number two button. So I can do that. And just back up. So where is home? Alright, I'm not gonna even bother to show you the, the white one I have. Just because... I didn't manage to actually get that working. This one. The big ass one. I have some balance issues with this one. Uh, controlling issues too, I guess. Here's the cockpit of it. Two controllers. One is controlling the thrusters underneath, I think. And one is controlling the engine and the door, I think. Yeah, and it's, a, it's a the same basic concept here. With the wings turning. And... Oh, don't go. We don't want to leave. We want to use the... The plane that I actually can fly. Alright, so so here's a quick tip for you. Let's, let's take a look at this. This actually works quite good. Uh, so I have... What you want to do is you want to put a bearing on the side of your craft. Aircraft? Like, like there. And you want to build the wing. And thrusters on the wing. These thrusters are going to uh, both let you drive forward and let you turn. And I have some extra thrusters down here. <laughs> and how you want to tilt upwards and downwards. Put some thrusters in the back. Put some thrusters in the front. And map them to buttons like 3 and 4. So when I press 3, I think, uh, the nose is going to go up. And when I press 4, the back is going to go up. And I have some basic thrusters just to keep us flying. Uh, and yeah, and uh, make sure you uh, map your driver's seat to the wings. So you can, with A and D, turn your wings. Uh, the other problem I had was that it's really hard to control the plane by typing 3 and 4 to make it go, you see, go up or go down. So what I did was, we take a look at the options, go to the controls. You see I have hotbar 3. I mapped them to the up key and down key on my keyboard. So I'm tilting with A and D or turning left and right. And I'm going up and down with the up arrow and down arrow on my keyboard. See, because you can have two different controls. So what that allows me to do is, see, do we have... Oops. Yep, alright, let's just go. You see, so it's so much easier to steer now. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, it's... Sorry. I might have too many thrusters on the wings. It's turning a bit too much. So let me actually bypass two of them on each side. What are those connected to? It's connected to number one key. So let me take off two from each side. I think that will help. Because this plane is made of wood, so it's really lightweight. This is still mapped though, I don't want it to be mapped. I think that's good. So F, oh no, it's not F. You just press 1 to activate all the thrusters. Tap down on the keyboard, and up we go. Oh, I actually can use the 
arrow keys. Oh, that was a wall. Let's try that again. I can use the arrow keys to turn left and right as well. I don't have to use A and D. My number two key is the same. I'm tilting the wheels with it. So if I hit a wall, I can turn around real easy. Which I will need to do right here because I think we have a wall in front of us. Yep, there it is. All right, so let's just back up. So you can apply this principle to any type of aircraft you want to do. Uh, have the bearings on the side, connect the wings to the bearing is important, and have thrusters on it. On it and uh, combine them to your driver's seat. And have thrusters in the front and thrusters in the back, underneath the plane. So number three key is tilting the nose upwards. And number four key is tilting the back upwards, which, al which allows you to tilt up and down. And just map your arrow keys to three and four, or five and six, or whatever buttons you have. So let's try this again. Well, there's another wall. Let's. That's kind of annoying, actually. I want to find. That, that's another thing I want to do. Uh, I want to make like stop signs on every piece of wall so I know actually let's just fly so I know where the wall is wow those things on the roof are the same thing as with my driver vehicle they let me if I flip upside down they will flip me back up Oh, it's getting out of control! Wah! There was a wall. Actually, I know why it's getting out of control. Let me do the opposite here. Let me... Are these not connected? They are, okay. Uh, I don't want to have these thrusters disconnected i want to have these other thrusters disconnected so i'm going to map this again to the first button and take these out instead i think that will have a better effect or that it might not do any difference whatsoever but we can always try all right let's let's give it a go up wall turn around and off we go yeah, it's turning way smoother now Whee! it's way easier to control What? Should I should not have said that. Whoa! Landed it. Make sure you subscribe and press like if if this video helped you out. And I'll see you next time. And if you want to actually see me build one of these, make sure you head over to my Twitch Twitch page. Same name there. I'll leave a link in the description. You you will be able to find it. You're not dumb. Uh, because I, I stream this game from time to time and I'm going to keep working on this game. I'm actually going to... Next thing is uh, I'm going to implement this concept I have going on here on a bigger plane. Even bigger than the white one over here. But that's for that's for next time. Actually, let's just try and fly it and see what see what happens. Close up the door. Oh yeah, I have the foldable wheels on this one. So that's the door that's turning the wheel. So it has to be four, I think. 
How do I make it go up? Oh. Oh, it's, it's not working as pro. It looks like a seagull, doesn't it? At least that was my girlfriend told me. She thought I made a seagull. But anyway, join me on Twitch to see me build some stuff or subscribe to this channel. See you later, guys.